Hello everyone. Let us solve the second problem of the continuous beam. So this is the problem we are going to solve. So first to double click on STAD Pro software. Next, I click on new project. Next to select plane. Next to give the title continuous beam second one and the location it is same yesterday's location only and you need to see meter and kilometer is there then you click on next then add beam is there you click on finish now you are seeing this grid view in 3d view so you select the front view this is x-axis, this is y-axis, and this is the z-axis towards you. And now let us see the problem. So the total span length is 5 plus 3, it is 8 meter. Two beams are there, AB one beam, BC one beam. So 5 plus 3, so it will go and come in this grid only. So first click on 0, next you click on by next click on eight then you click on close this one now you can see the line has been created of total length is eight meter if you want to see the span length means you click on this one and you click on display so now you can see the span length this is five this is three to remove this one you click on this one again this one remove close so now you can see three nodes, one, two, three nodes, and two beams, this one and this one. Now you have to assign, no, this is just a line, and this is just a point. You have to assign for this line, the uh, beam property, and for this node, you have to assign the supports. So next you click on general, next click on define. The beam is always of rectangle shape. So you select rectangle, you give any dimension because you are doing only analysis, not the design. Whenever you are going for the design part, you'll get to know whether the depth and breadth are sufficient or not. So now we provide this one as again 0.4 and this is 0.35. Then click on add. So you can see the rectangle on dimension 0.4 by 0.35 material is concrete. So now we assign this one to the this two beams, two lines. So use cursor to assign, click on assign. Now you can see the change in the cursor, you click on this one and on this line. So now it is assigned. Now if you want to see the node numbers, you press shift N. If you want to see the beam numbers, you press shift B. So if you want to remove again the beam number, shift B. If you want to remove the shift node number, shift in N. So let us keep the node numbers. Okay. So if you want to see the beam is assigned or no, you click on the 3D rendered view. So now you can see the depth and breadth both are both are assigned. So so now you assign the property. Next you have to assign the supports. So which are the supports are there here, this is fixed, here is fixed and this is simple support. So you click on general, here support, you click on support, next create, first you create the fixed support, next is pinned support, click on add, close. Now you want to assign this one to first node and the third node, so use cursor to assign, click on assign, take this one, click on first node and click on third node next take the pin node and click on the node 2 now we have assigned the property and the supports so what is the next step you have to assign the load the one is udl one is point load so this is the member load and this is also member load it is acting on the bc member and this is acting on the member ab so click on the so general only here load and definitions are there. So click on load case details, add. So you give the name 
title for that one lower case one add close next you click on lower case one click on add now you can see the options here as both loads are member load click on member load one is uniform load is there uniform force this is 60 it is acting downward so it is minus 60 so it is acting along y axis that is downward so d1 and d2 are zero because it is starting from the first node and it is ending at the b node so here d1 is not there d2 is full length so click on add next another point load is there that is concentrated force point load this is p so what is the concentrated load is there this is minus 90 acting downward so it is at a distance one meter from the b that is d1 so it is minus 90 d1 d1 is one meter click on <coughs> add close now you have to assign this one now it is still a question mark now after you assign it become green so click on this one use cursor to assign take click on assign and click on the respect to be on which you have to assign next you have to assign the concentrated load already assigning this there on this beam you have to assign so now it is assigned so next click on close now if you want to see again the load means you click on this so as this is the scale is very big you make it small and here you are unable to see the load value click on light click labels click on load value okay next is scales is there here so this is udl and this is point force is there here this one so point four let us increase the scale for ten and by still it is big still it is not big become less so scales point euro value 50 okay now we can see the length has been shortened so now the load is this is 60 and this is 90 if you want to see the dimension means you click on this one display now you can see this is 5 meter this is 1 this is 2 the total is 3 meter so we will remove this one so now you have assigned all the properties now next step is you have to analyze the beam analysis and print you are not giving any the print here so only no print here click on add close so here it is asking for perform analysis click on analyze run analysis so it will ask save so if you save so here error should be zero next you click, click on go to post processing mode then done next the load case the loads are in this case so take you select that one and you click on okay so increase this one so now you have the deflection button is on so if you want to see the deflection you yeah, increase the size scale of this one you hold the control button on your keyboard and rotate the cursor in your pro in your mouse so now you can see the deflection the beam has been deflected like this so to view the results click on results view value beam results this is displacement annotate close now you can see the deflection value here it is 2.973 mm and here it is 0.258 mm so to take the picture of this one click on edit copy picture then you can paste on the in the paint so control v so you have pasted here you have to save this one save as jpj so by so let us view this one as continuous b second one 
Deflection. Deflection. The second problem, deflection. DPV. So we saved now. So next, if you want to see the bending moment, click on bending moment Z. So here results. View value. Beam results. And send point. Close. So now you have to verify whether these results are correct or no. So let us see the values. So here it is 140.94 is there. So here it is 140.95 kilonewton per meter. Here it is 92.675. Here it is 93.12. Plus or minus 5 percent error will be acceptable. So here it is almost zero here. This point. So this is the positive bending moment. Positive. And this is negative bending moment. These are negative bending moment. So only for this value we are designing this one. So here it is seventy point six eight eight is there. Here it is seventy point four seven. So here you are seeing you have, you have drawn the bending moment only on the vertical y axis. But actually, the sagging means it will like it will be downward like this. Hogging means it is the beam will go upward like this. So next again, if you want to take the picture, edit, copy picture. Next, Control V in the paint. Next file, save as JPG. That is. Continuous beam bending moment. You change this one as second problem bending moment. Just click on save. Next third one is shear force. Just click on apply. Next you click on edit. Sorry. Results view value beam results. You remove this one. Shear force at the ends and midpoint. Next click on annotate. Close. Now this is the shear force diagram. Click on file, sorry, edit, copy picture, control V in the paint, file, save as JPJ. Continuous beam shear force. We change this one as second one. Save. So this completes the second problem. So now let us go for the Third problem. So here a continuous beam is there ABC fix at A and C. Now simply supported at B consists of spans AB and DC of lengths 4 meter and 6 meter respectively. The span AB carries a uniformly distributed load of 20 kilonewton per meter while the span BC carries 12 kilonewton per meter. Find the movements and the reactions at the supports. Draw also bending moment and shear force diagram for the beam. So to start with the new project, click on file, new. Next again select plane. Next you give the name continuous beam. Third one, file location and the units are meter and kilometer. Next click on next, add beam, finish. Next you choose the front view. Next, the span length is 4 plus 6, total it is 10 meter. So here, total length is 10 meter. Is there. First beam is length is 0 to 4. Next is 4 to 10, it is 6. So next you click on close. So now you can see the line has been created with three nodes. So now you have to assign the beam property for this one and the support property for the node geometry sorry general but that is property here you can define the property that is rectangle you give any dimension point i will choose 0.35 by 0.35 click on add close next you assign this one to the beam whose cursor to assign click on assign this one and this one okay Next, if you want to see this one, you can see this one is assigned 3D rendering. 
Next, if you want to see the numbers or no numbers, shift N. We have to assign the supports for the nodes. Click on support. Supports are fixed and pinned. Fixed and pinned. So fixed support at one and three. One and three and pinned at node two and close. Oh, now you have to assign the loads. So load load case details add load you the name load case one or as any name whichever your choice add close load case one add so these two are member load 20 and 12. This is acting downward, this is acting down minus 20 and minus 12. Member load uniform force minus 20. It is acting over full over length global y axis. Add next minus 12 global y axis. Add close. This one you have to assign for the this beam, and this one you have to assign for the this beam. So now you want to see the load value. Click on right, uh, click right click on this window. Click on labels. Next, click on load value. Apply. Okay. Now you can see the value minus 20 and minus 12. Minus 20 and minus 12. Next step is analysis and print. Now print, add, close. So it is asking for perform analysis. Analyze, run analysis. Save. Now you can see zero error error here. Go to post pressing mode. Done. If the loads are in this load case one, click on load case one. Load. Okay. Next. So the deflex button is on. So increase the scale, control and scroll the button upward. So this is the deflection. So to review the value, click on results, view value, beam results, displacement, and close. So you know how to take the picture of this one. Next bending moment. So to view the value, results, view value, beam results, and bending midpoint. And okay, close. So increase the size. So these are the hogging bending moment. Negative bending moment. This is a positive bending moment. This is negative bending moment. So let us verify this one. So this is the bending moment. This is 23 point. This is 37.87. This is 37.863. And this is 18.93, 18.945. So it is correct. 